Hi guys, in this video we will learn about named versus unnamed arguments. Right now I have a method display which takes three parameters. The first one is of type string, the second one is of type double, and the third one is also of type double. The last two parameters are optional because they do have a value given to them in case the user does not supply them with a value. The first one is a required parameter. So if I make a call to display and not provide any parameter, then I'm going to complain because it does requires at least one parameter. But if I do provide, then it will going to stop complaining. The other thing that I'm doing is as soon as the shape receives a value in the very first line in the method, I'm converting it into an all uppercase. So if I run this program right now, you can see that it displays the area of rectangle in all uppercase, the word rectangle. The other thing that I would like to do over here is this will help us revise the if conditions that we have learned in the past. And it will also help us revise the AND operator, which allow us to join multiple conditions together. And they must all be true in order for the uh, condition to be true. If width and height are the same value, and the shape equals rectangle, then change the shape to a square. So now let's run the same program because I'm only providing the first parameter. The next two are defaulting to a value of 1. So as we now run this program, you will notice that it changes the word rectangle to the word square. The other thing to keep in mind in this example is that what if I, instead of passing a rectangle which is a string if I pass in an integer value in the first parameter you notice that it starts erroring out it says it cannot convert it into a string now what we can do here in this example to fix the problem or if I write something like this 1.4 comma 1.67 comma rectangle now here it starts complaining that the second parameter is okay but the first one should be a string and the last one should be a double in order for me to fix this problem what I can do is this that I can tell that this is the value for width this is the value for height and this is the value for shape now notice the error goes away and this is what we call named arguments. Now it doesn't matter in what sequence I provide these values, it will know that this value is for width, and this value is for height, and this value is for the shape. So now let's run this example for you to see that the respective values go in the respective variables. And as you can see, the shape is rectangle. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.